Emerging from his prosperous radio program and the accompanying website housing its segments, Jay Allison, a prominent public radio broadcaster, has meticulously curated a series of anthologies. Among them is the essay compilation titled This I Believe Too, More Personal Philosophies of Remarkable Men and Women, published in 2009. This collection encompasses 75 captivating narratives drawn from the vast pool of 63,000 stories featured on the NPR radio show. The essays within this volume offer a diverse tapestry of voices, spanning the spectrum from renowned figures to unheralded individuals, encompassing the young and the elderly, and representing a myriad of vocations. Each contributor has crafted approximately 500 words, endeavoring to respond to a fundamental query. What would you convey in 500 words to encapsulate a core principle that shapes your life? These essays, although succinct, possess a profound capacity to stir emotions and engage the reader. They refrain from evading narratives of adversity, harrowing experiences, tragedy, and other traumatic life events. Instead, they delve courageously into the crucible of personal experiences that have molded the author's fundamental belief systems. As articulated by Allison in his introduction, the overarching objective of the radio show and the subsequent publications is to combat societal divisions and champion intellectual contemplation. This endeavor seeks to hoist the flag of thoughtfulness high, demonstrating how individuals can derive meaning and wisdom from seemingly insurmountable challenges. The journey through this anthology is designed to encourage introspection among its readers, compelling them to ponder their own guiding principles and profound truths. Readers have noted several distinctions between this second volume of the anthology series and its predecessor. Notably, there is a reduced presence of prominent and widely recognized figures in this collection. Instead, a greater number of essays focus on contemporary historical events, such as the Iraq War or Hurricane Katrina, drawing closer to our current times. Additionally, the volume boasts a surge in contributions from young authors, likely attributable to the adoption of the first volume in educational curricula, inspiring teenagers to emulate the format and submit their own essays. Following the tradition established in the previous installment, this volume concludes with a set of guidelines on crafting a This I Believe essay, encouraging readers to embark on their introspective journeys. Within this anthology, readers encounter a diverse array of perspectives, some essays feature well-known and celebrated individuals. Renowned cellist Yo-Yo Ma reflects on the profound value of cultural diversity, interconnectedness, and cross-pollination in both his musical pursuits and personal life. Professional skateboarder Tony Hawk shares his remarkable journey of defying discouraging predictions by teachers, forging a successful career in skateboarding. Sister Helen Prejean, an advocate against the death penalty, chronicles her transformative journey toward embracing forgiveness even for the most heinous criminals. Author Robert Fulgham employs the metaphor of dancing through life to convey the importance of seizing every opportunity to make the most of our existence. In God is God because he remembers, historian and Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel explores the significance of preserving and sharing our collective history to prevent the repetition of past mistakes. Country singer and songwriter Jimmy Dale Gilmore eloquently reveals how generosity has become his guiding principle. The anthology further includes essays from notable figures such as journalist Studs Terkel, chef Alice Brock from Alice's Restaurant, and Mary Chapin Carpenter. However, the essays contributed by lesser-known individuals are equally poignant and thought-provoking. Within the pages of this I believe too, an array of voices and experiences come to the forefront offering unique insights into the tapestry of human beliefs and values. Pakistani-American Muslim attorney Yasser Billu pens a poignant reflection titled The Right to be Fully American, where he candidly explores the anguish of feeling unwelcome in his own homeland. Homemaker Betsy Chalmers, in her piece The Faith That Brings Me Peace, delves into her unwavering commitment to marital faithfulness. Her enduring devotion sustains her 30-year marriage to a convicted criminal who remains incarcerated. A poet grappling with addiction delves into the concept of duality, highlighting the capacity of a single individual to embody multiple core identities. A self-described selfish and unlovable bachelor undergoes a transformative journey towards empathy and concern for others, spurred by his newfound responsibility for a beloved dog. The joys and challenges of adopting a newborn from China are candidly shared by a new father, offering profound insights into the essence of fatherhood. 
Another essayist elucidates her unwavering commitment to celebrating even the smallest milestones with her family, despite their occasional failure to fully comprehend her efforts. This anthology also amplifies the voices of a diverse range of individuals, including a diner waitress, an Iraq war veteran, a farmer, a newlywed, and a 14-year-old boy. Their essays traverse themes of forgiveness, personal integrity, and the reverence for the ever-evolving nature of life. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.